Hey guys, um, just wanted to actually clear a few things up. One, uh, the title says Madden NFL 11 Review. Yes, it is, but I want to say that I'm going to be redoing my WWE 12 review, and it wasn't the best review. Matter of fact, a friend of mine reviewed it itself. <laughs> he he went through it like, dude, what the fuck is this? It's total shit, man. You can't even design a fucking video. And I was like, well, yeah, I was kind of, you know, he was like, what were you smoking? I was like, I don't know. It's just one of those days you go, <sighs> and, yeah. Anyway, anyways, I'm going to be doing a new video on that WWE 12 review. See, do a new video on it, and going on to the Madden 11 review. Now I just finished the rookie thing. You know, they had like I don't know how long they've been doing it, but I know they did doing it for a while. I'm 2010 they did it. Madden 2010. I think they did it for 2009 and 2008. Yeah, I don't know how long they've been doing it to be honest. However. I, I don't know if they did this in 2010, Prince, this is the first Madden NFL game I got since LA, actually. It's on this laptop, actually. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Any, um, that in mind, I did, I'm not sure if the feature that I liked the most about this rookie thing was in there. The rookie mode. You get, you could choose an NFL rookie in, that was already in the game. Now, people who know me were like, oh god, okay. This is easy. It's Tim Tebow. Yes. Tim Tebow, Denver Broncos. Now, I like this mode. Um, that for PS3, Madden 11 looked realistic. Like, real, the real deal. I don't know what it looked like in 2010. Honest to God, 2011 was pretty good. I think I'm gonna go get I'm gonna save money up for 2012 and compare those two. Um, I really loved this game. It was amazing. Rookie mode was awesome. Okay, it was like the, this was like this year's uh, and um NFL except we don't know who won the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's coming up for us. Um, well, I Denver Broncos. I made it to the playoffs in there, and I'm st I'm doing another season. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get to the fucking Super Bowl and win it. Tebow's my man; he go win the Super Bowl. But um, I I went. I was like twelve and two. I don't know, twelve and no, twelve and two regular season. It was like. I don't know. I, 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 I lost second round um, playoffs, and it was, I don't, I'll have to look back. But I redid it, and I was surprised to see that Tim Tebow was second string when the game. He played second string quarterback on this um, in the Pro Bowl in this game. He played second string quarterback, and I was like, "Wow, I must be doing a pretty good job." Luckily, I'm not Tim Tebow, because if I was really Tim Tebow, I'd be throwing the Broncos down the toilet. Um, I, I had fun with the create, uh, um, create a team, and yeah, create a playbook, created my own team. Now, I, I wasn't going to, like, steal a team like Tampa Bay. Tampa, I'm just going to do my hometown, Tampa Bay. And I thought of an NFL team that has not, it's not in Florida, that has not, like a city in Florida does not have an NFL team. So I got this thing of like, Miami got the crappy Dolphins. No offense, but you know, Dolphins didn't do so well this year, and maybe next year. Jacksonville, Jacksonville, I mean, they had a rough season as well. Florida for NFL wasn't really, this year wasn't the best. I mean, Tampa Bay, Ramin Morris, holy crap, man, I'm sorry if, if he's ever watching this video, I'm, I'm, I'll be straight up honest with you, 
I'm glad you were fired. I, 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 I'll be honest, I did not like you as our head coach. You were a rookie, and I think the owners of the Buccaneers were desperate. But, however, they fired the whole coaching staff at the end of the season. The whole coaching staff. Everyone was gone. Now we got this new coach who um, came from, who, who did defensive, who did coordinating, offense coordinating or something like that for NFL, but he was also head coaching for college football, and he went, he took, uh, he was like a 5-2 and two record or 5, yeah, something, 5-2 record and in bowls. I was like, oh, well, maybe he can hit us into the Super Bowl and we'll go back. But also I got to thinking, well, this year we also have the rookies on the Tampa Bay. Anyways, let's skip this part. We can all do this a whole different time. And let me just say this. I went completely off tropic. See, I didn't do Tampa because Tampa was... I did Orlando. Now, I did... I will admit, I did take a Miami team name, but it wasn't football. It was basketball. And now, you know, oh my god, he took the hit. Orlando Heat, I did. I mean, granted, it's probably a knockoff version. We can just say the Miami Heat owners own it. The stadium design, oh my god, I loved it. My stadium was awesome. I, I, I mean, I did the fantasy draft, and I chose my fantasy team. Of course, my first string quarterback, Tim Tebow, my second string quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. That's all I know. And then we had Chris Johnson, you know. Um, uh, uh, what I liked about this game is, I don't know, I still again, I don't know if they did this in 2010, but 2010, uh, 2011, they had like vintage, like AFL, I think that's the minor league. I also heard AFL, like Arena Football League. I'm not sure what it is in here. They did it with NHL, which is my next game review. Um, and they have breast cancer, the support breast cancer thing. I, that was my, I mean, I I like supporting breast care awareness, breast cancer awareness. Oh my god, I'm so fucking up today. Um, anyway, yeah, I love that supporting part. I don't know if they put it in the other games, but by god, this was one thing they better have kept in the... Uh, 2012. Now, I don't know if it was something wrong with my PlayStation. However, I saw videos online, and they had when they were playing rookie mode. You know, be a rookie uh, mode. When it was October, they got little bre breast cancer awareness bar, a score a score bar, and when I played that, it was the regular. I was like the hell? Um, I believe there is something wrong here. I, I don't know if anyone else, I mean, I do PlayStation. I'm not X, I, I, um, I'm, I'm a PlayStation man, never did like Xbox. Uh, now I'm gonna get a lot of hate from Xbox viewers. <laughs> Anyways, um, PlayStation, I grew up with it, you know, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, you know. Now they're coming up with the PlayStation Vita. I'm going completely off topic today, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't get any sleep last night. I was too busy. You know, got a new game. Gotta break it in. St. Rose the Third. However, I'm on. I think I'm like 32% away. I got it last yesterday afternoon. Sad. It's sad when I'm playing all night. Hell no, that bitch did not just do that. Yeah, you know. Screaming at the TV. <laughs> Grandmother yelling down there. Be quiet out there! I can't believe I live in the same house. Okay! No, she didn't say that, but you know. However, yeah, um, we played that all last night with my friend Sebastian. He's currently in my loft sleeping. He, he was up with me all night. <laughs> um, yeah. Madden, uh, let me go back on topic again. This is going to be another horrible review, except this time it will be much better than the WWE Total Review, which I'm going to review, of course. Um, 
like I said, if rating out of the Madden NFL 2000, Madden NFL 2011, the game, PlayStation 3, I have Madden, I have them different consoles, and sometimes there's a difference in different consoles, not like WWE, but, um, if I was to rate it out of a 10 scale, I'd give it a 9.5, or 9.3, I mean, graphics were amazing, they, I, I thought it was real, I could have sworn to God, they really, like, filmed everything you could have done here, I mean, at first I was like, the fuck? I didn't expect graphics to be that wonderful. And I have a standard definition TV, so imagine my eyes when that's to be HD. Um, yeah. NFL, Madden NFL 2011. It was great. There were some glitches I ran into. Uh, I, I, I threw the ball, and I wasn't sure. I mean, Tebow threw the ball, and he caught it. But, uh, I just don't know. It's like, teleported in the freaking I don't know it was weird as hell one time it just glitched myself into the sideline and I was like um and I was staring at it like oh shit I've been mind fucked um, I could say more but I don't want to go over 15 minute time limit I have on my videos right now yes I've reached past the 10 minute marking I got the 10 minute thing from YouTube. Hey! Um, however, Madden NFL 2011, um, it was great. I haven't tried the online mode. I, I do have it. I, I, um, yeah, I did get the, like, update for I can do it online. That's what she said. Um, anyway, I loved it. I haven't played it online. I want to play it online. I'm just not sure what to do yet with that. Um, I like the coaching system. I have I haven't figured out how this is on the back. Motion sensitive, and I don't know what that means. And I haven't figured out what it means. So if anyone can comment and tell me what it means, that'd be lovely. Um, yeah, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. Um, follow me on Twitter at True Rockstar Three Sixteen. I'm not going to change it because I changed it in the past. I've done AC James 316. I've done Austin underscore Chansey. That's my name. Um, I'm going to keep a true Rockstar 316 because that's my PlayStation username. It's everything I'm using basically now. Username True Rockstar 316. Because I am a true Rockstar. And 316 comes from a verse I like in the Bible. Uh, look it up. John, the book of John 316. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys. Uh, I don't know, I'll talk. I don't know how many viewers or whoever. I'll see you guys later. Next re good game review will be WWE 12. I'm going to see how long that takes to get it out. But I'm going to re going to fix that up for you guys because I've spoiled spoiled Road to Wrestlemania and I I didn't really talk about gaming features like I did here in Madden NFL um, that's it for now talk to you later Subscri uh, follow me and subscribe to me um, I'm on IGN and I'll put the link down in the description bar or description box or whatever the fuck they call it that's it for now out and I've said it like three times see ya